Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to scan your BMW's fault codes. On the newer BMWs, they have their own specific codes outside of the OBD2 versions. The problem with using a generic OBD2 code reader is that you may find yourself chasing around problems instead of focusing on a specific area. For this, I'll be using my 2010 BMW 335D E90 body style as an example. Here I'm using my Foxwell NT530OE bi-directional scanner. This can work as a regular OBD2 scanner and can also have the BMW specific software uploaded onto it. A link to the scanner will be included in the video description. When opening up the box, you can see the scanner is neatly packed in its own fabric case. Inside that case is the scanner and cable. First is locating the OBD2 port. The port is located within 3 feet or 91 centimeters of the steering wheel. On this model, it's located on the driver's side footwell on the left side just as you open the door. There is a black cap with the label OBD. Grab onto the inside of the cap, unclip it, and then pull off. It only clips on from the one side, and as you can see, there are tabs which holds it into place on the opposite side. Next is plugging in the diagnostic cable. Ensure it is in the correct position, and then push it into place. Plug the diagnostic cable into the scanner. Once plugged in, then screw in those retaining fasteners. The scanner should automatically turn on. In order to scan those codes, the car should be in the on position. Insert the key fob into the port, then briefly press the start button. This will activate all the accessories in the vehicle. Once the scanner is on, select the BMW software. You can either enter the VIN manually or have a smart scan done. I have selected the smart scan. This will automatically read the VIN and pull the information from your car. Then allow the scanner to load. Next is selecting the diagnostic feature. Select quick scan. This will scan all the modules in the vehicle. This will take a minute to perform the scan. The scanner will check for any fault codes across all the modules equipped in the vehicle. When a fault code is present, this will be shown in the right column along with how many there are. And as you can see, we have four fault codes on the DDE control unit. Clicking on this area, we can see exactly what the fault codes are. Select Read Codes. Here you can see that we have the codes with a specific ID number, different than the generalized OBD2 code numbers. Beyond that, you can see each code has a description defining the problem area. Keep in mind a scan tool is used in the aid of diagnosing a problem. It won't tell you exactly what's needed to be replaced or done. The only way to remove a fault code is to permanently repair the problem. If a fault code is erased and the problem is not fixed, the code will reappear. We have a total of four codes here, as mentioned earlier. If you have solved the problem, simply going to an area where the code would be found. I'm using another module as an example. Click Clear Codes. Give the scanner a moment to erase the codes, and then you'll be presented with a confirmation that they have been removed. Now another example using the generic OBD2 scanner process. This will extract codes as well, but they may provide a broader range instead not allowing you to pinpoint a problem area as efficiently. Once the scanner has completed, its data is collected, and you can see we have about 10 codes here on a generalized scale. Beyond reading those specific codes for BMW, the scanner can also view the ECU details, show live data, reset the oil light, register a new battery, brake deactivation, reset maintenance light, DPF, regeneration, etc. Those tutorials will be saved for future videos, so be sure to keep an eye out for those. Once you have logged those codes, then you will need to take the appropriate steps in order to repair the issue. After that is disconnecting the scanner and then turning off your ignition. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.